Hey guys, and on today's video, we're gonna go on and update your Mac. So let's get started on the top left hand side of our screen. We're gonna see the Apple logo from our logo. Second option, we'll say system settings. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna see this. Now, if nothing's popping up like this, where it says software update, and I can just click on it, it's gonna take me here. Don't worry about it. Under search, just type in update, going to software update, and there you go. Another way to get here, let's say for some reason you can't get there. Just go into general, software update, second option, and there you go. So those are the three ways to get to software update. If you guys are not getting anything here, you guys can turn on and off automatic updates. Um, turning off and on beta updates, that will refresh things as well. Although I never suggest turning on beta updates because those are just updates that are not fully done. And then just update now. Uh, before any update, I do suggest making a backup using your time machine. If you guys don't have time machine set up, I highly suggest doing so. It's something already installed on your Mac. So don't worry about it. I do have a separate video for that. But um, the only reason I'm saying that is because it's good to have a backup of your Mac. Whether or not you have files that you may not care too much about, once you lose them, that's when you realize, oh damn, I should have made a backup. <laughs> and I always suggest doing that using an external SSD or an external hard drive. As external SSD would be technically faster uh, external hard drives, they're bigger, cheaper. Uh, you have a lot more storage in them. So that's why I personally use those and I use my uh, external SSDs to just transfer stuff because they're a lot faster. So how long will this take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed. Right now you guys can see it's about three gigs. So for me, that's just a few seconds. For some people that could take a very long time. After that, it's just gonna restart. We're gonna see an Apple logo loading bar. And that's it, we're gonna be done. So right now you guys can just leave your Mac to be and it's just gonna restart by itself. All right, so if you just left your Mac to be, it would have restarted and that's it. You guys would have seen this back. So, and if you don't, you can just go to general, soft update, here you go. You should see that you're all up to date. If you check for more updates, nothing should be popping up and you would be done with this video. And that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like, thank you.